Dear Tim and Moby, I heard about this guy who invented a million things with peanuts. Can you tell me about him? Curious, Eddie. George Washington Carver did some pretty amazing things with peanuts. During his career, he used them to create over 300 distinct products. But Carver's rise to fame as the peanut man is only a small part of his story. He was an agricultural scientist studying how soil chemistry affects crop yields. But he didn't just stay in the lab. He persuaded farmers around the country to adopt more scientific practices. And that makes him one of the most influential scientists of his day. His achievements are all the more impressive given the struggles he faced as an African American. Carver was born into slavery in Missouri during the Civil War. His father died before he was born. Shortly after that, slave traders kidnapped his mother from the plantation. So the owners, Moses and Susan Carver, raised George themselves. As a child, Carver struggled with illness. Stuck indoors, he developed a close connection to Susan Carver. She taught him about herbal medicines, and young George quickly became fascinated with plants. His obsession grew into expertise. Neighbors began calling him the plant doctor. They came to him for advice on caring for the health of their gardens. Farmers were in awe of Carver's intellect and knowledge. But despite his brilliance, he was barred from attending the local school. Slavery had ended with the Civil War, but life in the post-war South was defined by segregation, the forced separation of races. African Americans were often mistreated and not given the same opportunities as white people. In his teens, George left home in search of a formal education. He landed at Iowa State Agricultural College, where he was the first African American student. He majored in botany. No, it's the study of plants. He earned his master's degree at Iowa and grew into a respected academic. That caught the attention of Booker T. Washington. Washington was the leader of the Tuskegee Institute, one of America's first black colleges. He invited Carver to head the agricultural department at Tuskegee. Even though the position paid far less, Carver took the job. He was excited to mentor African-American students. Carver also hoped his work could help farmers across the rural South. At the time, cotton was the main crop in the southern United States. It requires huge amounts of nitrogen to grow properly. Growing cotton year after year was draining the soil of the nutrient. Eventually, the fields couldn't grow much of anything. In response, Carver promoted the idea of crop rotation. He urged farmers to alternate their crops each growing season. Swapping in something like sweet potatoes kept the soil healthy. It prevented nitrogen depletion and led to a more diverse yield. Crop rotation had been around for centuries, but Carver helped refine it to a, well, a science. He conducted a series of experiments to figure out which plants had the strongest nitrogen-fixing properties. That is, which ones restored the most nitrogen to the soil. Two crops stood out, soybeans and peanuts. To help share his discoveries, Carver came up with the Jessup Wagon. It was an agricultural classroom on wheels. Carver taught farmers throughout the South about soil nutrition. By swapping in soybeans, peanuts, and sweet potatoes, they were able to keep growing cotton. There was just one little problem. Farmers weren't sure what to do with all those peanuts. Since peanuts weren't very widely used, farmers couldn't make much money from them. To boost demand, Carver developed hundreds of peanut-based products. Items like soap, paper, shaving cream, lotion, flour, and insulation. In a few years, the peanut market was booming. Carver didn't stop there. He also came up with new uses for sweet potatoes, like shoe polish and rope. Carver's inventiveness earned the admiration of world leaders and his fellow scientists. He helped auto manufacturer Henry Ford create, uh, no. They collaborated to create a peanut-based replacement for rubber. Yeah, Carver's resourcefulness was an inspiration to millions of people. He improved the lives of farmers and boosted the southern economy. Some even say he saved it. That's not a sports drink. You just poured peanut oil in a bottle. 
Don't be a goober.